Hello there and welcome to a brand new series that I look forward to creating for this channel. Now today we'll be taking a Lego set and finding out if it will or will not battle pack. It's a fun little series where I take a set that's usually much much bigger than a battle pack. If Lego make any smaller sets like the micro ships we used to get back in 2010s then I'll definitely be trying to do it with that as well because that will be very very interesting but Right now, LEGO are making some really big sets. The most recent one has been the Tentive, which I've turned into the diorama. And don't worry, a little PS8 before we start this video. No dioramas were harmed in the making of this video. In fact, I like this diorama so much, it's joining my Mock Isley as one of my forever dioramas, which are dioramas that I don't think I'll ever take apart, which doesn't mean it's looking very likely for this Bad Batch mock, I'm afraid. And... The only other diorama I have built, I've still got my Mario one built and my Dark Trooper attack. So one of them three is going to have to go by the next diorama. So perhaps I'll do another vote in the community. I always used to do a vote to find my least popular diorama. And then that one would become the one that I changed. So keep your eyes on the community for that when I'm starting to work on my next diorama. And right now you can vote on a community poll for your favourite Tantive build either the Lego set or the diorama I built about a week ago and today's battle pack, which of course you're yet to see. So let's go and take a look at it. And as you can see, we have a cleaner jar chart clearing up this bell pack, but he definitely would not be included in a battle pack. But again, check out my Instagram for more images of my custom scenes with the Tantive diorama. And if we grab some Troopers, Storm and Rebel from my Tantive boarding diorama, we can place them on here. And you'll find that the small footprint for this battle pack does actually have enough space for the four Troopers in this set. I guess it is quite a snug fit. more A lot more snug than you'd probably like from a battle pack. But it isn't actually too bad. It fits all four Troopers and you might have noticed... I've taken some inspiration from the set. So this column is for the front, actually the same design that Lego have put through. I have switched a few bits around and that is mostly these curved pieces here because I wanted to make this battle pack accessible for people that both had and hadn't picked up the Tantive board in. So these pieces were common and yes, I have used these stickers, but if you can get yourself some sticker paper you can definitely find these designs or even make your own print them and there is a bunch of other stickers that you can use from other sets to represent similar things even just using a one by two sticker for this vent down here so i'll let you sticker it up but the instructions will be on rebrickable and i'll probably whack these up for free because as i said i'd like this to be accessible to people that didn't pick up the diorama and if i start charging for it it's just going to be accessible to less people and just look how small it is. This really isn't worth anything. So these will be up on Rebrickable for free. Definitely go check that out as well as my diorama instructions, which are definitely up by now. And the back is definitely keeping the Tantive set in all the black and light grey bricks that I've whacked here, there and everywhere. Again, you can change up the colours if you like. The instructions are free, so you might as well download them and see what pieces you do have. And I'm sure... You can just switch around any of these on the back because none of them are seen for the front. We actually have some 2x2 slopes here. I wanted to use a 1x4 or a 2x4 even to get the piece count down a little bit as we are using about, I think it was 98 pieces by the time you add up all the pieces for the Stormtroopers and Rebels, which is why I've added two of the red cones just to get it to 100 because battle packs tend to be about 102, 104, 108 pieces around that 100 and single digit area. And this is, of course, for the smaller battle packs. I was going to make a Stormtrooper battle pack, then a Rebels battle pack and a 2024 battle pack. Realistically, a Stormtrooper battle pack would just be the flipped of this. Rebels would just be four Rebels instead of two of each. And a 2024 battle pack would be the both of them which I'm sure you can see on screen right now because the double sized battle packs, we've seen them for the 501st and now in 2024 for the plain phase 2 troopers are just two battle packs mashed together and 
usually have the best taken. Of course, we don't have the eight figures in them. We've had four clone troopers and two droids, and now four clone troopers and five droids, three of which are B2s, which I would class as a, I guess, the closest a droid can come to a minifigure. As we've got legs, we've got a torso, which I guess is one of the arms, a head, which is the torso of the droid, and then like a hat hair piece, which would just be the other arm. So they take up the same amount of pieces as a regular minifigure. These rebels have an extra piece for the visor that goes on their helmet. But I really think this as a battle pack would be cool. As you've seen, you can double this up and this archway is made so that you can take two of these sets and flip the archway and it will line up to make a tentative door. So you can just build these all along, perhaps even just get rid of the door and include these sides bits. This would be a great extension to the play rama that Lego put out or the diorama that you might have built using my instructions because it gives us a bunch of extra walls with the occasional door that we can just line up and have a whole corridor from the Tantive, which would be really cool, but I don't think Lego would plan on making a playset like this. Usually a playset does come with a, or a battle pack, sorry, not a playset, comes with a vehicle or a little bit of rocky terrain. This ties in a bit more to the rocky terrain, but normally that is alongside a smaller speeder, but I'd love to see something like this from Lego. The base is actually on a 7x9 footprint. Again, not the most simple of base plates to work with, or bottoms, or footprints of the sets. What I mean by footprint is how big the bottom of the set actually is. But this does line up then, if you were to get another one, build it backwards. You could have two of them, you could definitely build them for the other side, and... Just like my diorama and Lego's playrama set, there is a total of six studs between the columns, eight between the walls, and ten between the doors. So you could build this backwards and have another battle pack in front, and that would be a complete tentative hallway. So build as many of these as you would like. Try not to eliminate the stormtroopers before the rebels and vice versa i guess there is some sort of play feature like the original one you just gotta use your thumb and pop off the stormtroopers but i really like the way that this looks and again i definitely think if this was a battle pack it would come with two troopers two rebels so let me know what you think down in the comments below would this be a successful lego battle pack and also would you like to see more of this series because Lego released a bunch of sets as battle packs. I think I've already mentioned about the 2024 battle pack and how I would turn that into a smaller battle pack. So check out all them reviews and mocks if you want to know more about the 2024 battle pack. And hopefully we get many more sets that can be turned into a battle pack. This is definitely a very interesting style of battle pack and would look amazing on even a display as this, just the small battle pack base. But as I said, this could add up and it's a great battle pack. You've got minifigures that you'd want multiple of, multiple troopers, multiple rebels. And the actual scenery adds up into a tentative hallway. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more awesome LEGO content such as this. And may the bricks be with you always.